Go. Okay, so this video is going to demonstrate goniometric measurement of hip extension. Hip extension occurs in the sagittal plane. It has a firm end feel, and the normal value is 0 to 20 degrees. For this, the patient's going to be lying prone, and we're going to place a pillow underneath her abdomen to help protect her low back. Um, it's key that the pillow is high enough so that her ASISs are still firmly planted in the bed. All right, so for this, the instruction to the patient is I want you to keep your legs straight or your knee straight, and I want you to lift your whole leg up off the bed as high as you can. And you can take a little break because it's hard, it's hard to hold it there, so I'm just going to explain where everything goes. Um, the fulcrum is going to go line up with the patient's greater trochanter, so you're going to have to palpate the patient's greater, greater trochanter. If you need to, you can have the patient roll their leg in and out a little bit into internal external rotation so you can find their greater trochanter. Um, the stationary arm is lined up with the lateral midline of the pelvis, and the moving arm is going to be lined up with the lateral midline of the femur. All right, Suzanne, so if you could, again, bring your left leg up off the bed as high as you can. Okay. And take a break. So Suzanne has five degrees of hip extension.